Welcome back. Now, tying the knot has always been a cause for a big celebration, but by the end of the year, over a quarter of a million weddings will have been postponed across the country because of COVID. Businesses in the sector have been hit hard after the entire high season was cancelled. Well, joining me now to discuss this from West London is wedding planner Sarah Haywood. Uh, afternoon to you, Sarah. Um, 2020 has really been a write-off for the weddings industry. It has, um, with, as you say, nearly a quarter of a million weddings haven't gone ahead. But there is light at the end of the tunnel for us, which we are obviously delighted about, and following on from what the Prime Minister said on Thursday. But we do still have some challenges uh, to plan for. Um, but safe and gradual reopening is now possible. And we had largely accepted as a sector that social events are different to other events. But now, with lateral testing, with the vaccine just around the corner, we don't accept that it's not possible to start planning for a gradual reopen in the, reopening in the new year, as the Prime Minister indicated. And for us to be fully reopened, as he said, between Easter and the summer. Um, we do have to look at all of the weddings in the pipeline between now and Easter. We need to understand and plan for how that gradual reopening will take place. And so it's possible for just to be told on a Wednesday what's going to be what's going to be happening on a Saturday. And then the second issue that we need to look at is there are approximately 500,000 weddings. That's nearly a million people in the pipeline because we add in the cancelled weddings from this year and we add in those who are recently engaged. 500,000 weddings in the pipeline at the other side. And couples need to start planning for them. And we have a few other obstacles in play. For example, the major high street banks are now refusing to loan uh, the C-bills loan to venues because they say they're not viable, which is bonkers because there are 500,000 weddings in the pipeline. Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, all those uh, sort of pent up, that pent up demand for people to tie the knot and to have their ceremonies, but there's only so many venues, aren't there? There are. So there are some solutions and the, the Prime Minister indicated on Thursday that he would commit to a roadmap. He said yes when that question was asked of him. And the small business minister, Paul Scully, um, he's committed to supporting the newly formed uh, industry appointed UK Weddings Task Force. And I'm speaking to you on behalf of, of that organisation today. And we've had positive engagement with the ministers to have many industry associations. And we're now looking to glue it all together, funnel it through, have two way communication so that we can try and get to the other side. And we need couples who've not yet started planning to ignite their planning for summer, autumn 2021 and into 2022. And there's no reason now to not have confidence with going ahead and doing that because the Prime Minister has told you to have confidence. So if that is you, if you're planning to get married, it'll bring revenues in to these uh, businesses like mine. You know, we've gone many businesses between 95 and 100 percent loss of revenue. The uncertainty has been removed. Book us. That will take pressure off furlough. It will reduce the unemployed benefit for sole traders. And it will reset everything and it will get the train out of the station. And meanwhile, we'll look at the other issues. And, and Sarah, the weddings that are being booked in for the summer and the Prime Minister has said you can have confidence to book your weddings in the summer. I presume that some people have, have, will take him at his word. Will they look different? Are they going to be even bigger celebrations or are people going to have learned from what we've seen through COVID and keep them smaller? That's the billion dollar question. We don't really know. And it doesn't really matter because this industry has always planned. That's what we do. We plan weddings. So if you're happy with a smaller, more intimate celebration and you want that to happen more immediately, that can happen between now and April, but we've got to have two-way dialogue. We've got to understand how to plan. And if you're looking to have the kind of celebration that we all remember, that's also still possible. And, you know, this really is all about planning. And if the Prime Minister and if Minister Scully are watching and they're serious about this commitment, and I've no reason to suppose that they're not serious, and I, on behalf of the UK Weddings Task Force, and an entire 
£14.7 billion sector have taken you at your word. We are going to hold you to account for your statements and that commitment. Planning is what we do, and there's no reason now for us not together to plan our way out of this. Well, good to talk to you, uh, Sarah. Perhaps uh, the Prime Minister might even engage you to plan his own wedding. You never know. But uh, thanks for your time on Sky News.